This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Can you guess where I am? If you said Chep, you're wrong. <laughs> we're delivering pallets, but we're not in Chep. Um, Oh, seagulls making some noise. We're in Stonehouse. Uh, we're just doing a delivery. We've got 520 pallets. Um, so we're leaving off, we're starting off rather from where we, where we left off in the last video. And uh, today, after we tip these pallets, we've got to go to the sawmill in South Cerny. Then we've got to get reloaded with timber, take that out to Wrexham, tip the timber, get reloaded with pallets, and then go down to Bridge End. That is what we're going to do in this video. And um, yeah. Get some miles under us today, I think. Up to Wrexham. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be some miles. So um yeah man, let me show you what we got on board. First, I've just uh just finished winding up the straps so that can go back in there. Getting getting to be a bit of a mess in there it is. Is that shut properly? I don't think it is. Now it is. Right, so this is what we've got on board. 520 pallets from Chep. So we just gotta uh just got to pick up all the ratchets, oh, sorry, all the straps that I've done up, put them away, and secure them away nice and safely so that they don't come out. <laughs> it's quite funny actually, the other day they come out, I, uh, it got really windy and it sort of opened the box and they went everywhere. Luckily I was just coming out of the service station, they went all over the slip road on the, on the way out, but I had to stop and uh, put them all back in again. There you go, they're put away. So yeah, I just filled it with fuel. I was coming out of the service station, about to join onto the motorway, and then a, a really a really big gust of wind happened and it literally blew the box open on the back. I was checking my mirror and it went all over the road and nearly into the actual motorway as well. So I had to pull over to the hard shoulder, reverse back, and then dart across onto the slip road and grab all my straps quickly. Because um, not only did they come out, but they all unrolled and everything. So I had to redo them all back up a lot. So it did, uh, it did take some time to do it. But there she is, there's the truck. There's the pallets that we got on. Five and in play. We've nearly done this side, we've got four more rows to do this side. And then you can then do the other side. According to the weather report, it is one degree outside. It is, it is pretty cold, but not cold enough to put, uh, to put jeans on. We're still wearing the old shorts, the old shorts there. Um, so yeah, it's all right as long as you keep moving. Obviously I've got a hoodie. I, I normally only get cold on the top and, um, and ears actually. So we're okay, but we are gonna go jump in the truck now and warm ourselves up. We're gonna go get the paperwork signed. Hopefully he can sign it now and then um, when he's done, we can just crack on. All right, paperwork signed. Let's jump off in the truck. Got to take my shoes off. Uh, uh, uh. There we go, right, paperwork can go over there. I get the odd comment from people saying, do you drive barefoot? Yes, I do. Is it illegal? No, it isn't. It's one of those, it's one of those um, things that people think is illegal to drive barefoot. It isn't, Google it, it's not illegal. Um, if they deem you to be driving without due care, they could do you for that. I would argue that if I haven't caused an accident, I'm driving with due care, not without due care. So. Not illegal to drive with just your uh, your socks on. In fact, I would argue that with just my socks on, I feel the pedals more than I do with my boots on. I'd say it's actually more dangerous with your boots on than it is without. So there's hazards off. Actually, the hazards themselves are like, they, they're loud and then they go quiet. They've gone quiet now, look. So yeah, no, I would argue that it's actually more dangerous to drive with your boots on than without your boots on, because if, with, with them off, you feel the pedals a lot more. You feel exactly how far down you are going, how much pressure is being applied. With your boots on, if you if you drive without no boots on and then go back to driving with boots on, you'll notice the difference. It's like, it's numb down there. You can't really feel um, like how far you're pressing. I found anyway, so. I do genuinely, genuinely believe it's safer to drive without any boots on because you feel the pedals a lot more. And um, I mean, think about racing drivers. They they wear like really thin fire fire retardant shoes. Um, 
they would they would go barefoot if they could <laughs> they said they could feel the pedals more so yeah whatever it's not illegal google it so yeah it's not illegal anyway from here we want to go to the sawmill so let's put the sawmill in actually what we can do what i like doing recently is putting our end destination in so actually our end destination is there wrexham james jones that's where we're going to deliver today it's going to change the height because we probably won't be taller than the cab but obviously we will measure later but i'll do that now So that calculated route to Wrexham, but obviously we're not going straight to Wrexham. We need to go to the sawmill first. So we go back down here and we press the sawmill. By the way, I don't actually live there. That's where I used to live. So don't come looking for me. <laughs> be, be right, sawmill. So now it would take me to the sawmill first and then up to Wrexham. So I've got an idea of roughly how long I'm, I'm well, what time I'll be in, in Wrexham for. So it's four hours from here, total driving. So I will need to get a fully, a fully fledged braking at some point um and also we'll be here for another half an hour plus we'll be at the sawmill for half an hour 45 minutes so we're probably looking at like two o'clock something like that we um we should be in Wrexham for maybe before right i think we've got one more lift to come off i think he's just taken it off now and then hopefully we get a toot or something or a thumbs up paperwork has been done oh actually no it hasn't paperwork has not been fully done uh, one more lift after that one. It's on the app now as well. We've got to we've got to clear it on the app. Proof of delivery. It wants. Lovely. I could take a picture of it. <laughs> take a picture of the forklift taking it off from the window. I don't think you can get any more proof than that. Ready. Go back a bit. There we go. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you get any more proof that I've done the delivery than that. Cheers, mate. Uh, complete checkout. Force the checkout. It never, it never thinks I am where I am. I think I've, I think I've cleared it. I think I've cleared it. Anyway, engine on. Let's go. Hazards off. Quite a busy road, this, and it's quite a blind left. You can't really see what's coming around. Clear to the right. Car on the left. Okay, we're going mid lift up. Yeah, so um, yeah, nice place there. I, I do enjoy tipping there. It's, um, I don't know, the first time I tipped, I was there ages waiting, and uh, it wasn't the best place. Like I always like in my head, I think of places I've tipped, and first time I went, it was like mm, very slow before anyone even come out to me. Then it was slow to tip me, and blah 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 blah. But um, I've been loads of times since and it's been spot on. So they, they're actually overall genuinely a really good place to deliver to. Um, get there for like 7.30 and it's half past eight now and I'm, I'm completely tipped, completely tipped, which is what you want. You want to be uh, in and out of places within an hour. That's sort of like the, the go-to time frame you give. Um, and for one bloke, it's, it's actually really good. Yeah, for one one bloke doing it on his on his but by himself is um, yeah pretty good, pretty good. I do like delivering that. Anyway, we're going to crack on to Zisor Mill, get loaded with timber, and um, make our way up to Rex and get that tipped off today, and then reload, and then make our way back down to Wards Bridge End. Uh, how far we get down into Bridge End? Oh, I'd like to get to Bridge End to be honest with you. Um, because I know where to park up but I do think it's going to be relatively late like it's got to be at least four hours five hours there from two o'clock so yeah it's going to be like seven o'clock at night I think at least before we finish tonight but um, that is what it is that is what it is right I shall see you at the sawmill see you in a bit right we are at the sawmill um, and you might be able to hear it in the background put some gloves on Go and get loaded with some timber, baby. Let's go. So while we're waiting for them to come out and start loading this, we can just uh, get some straps out ready. Put six down the end, this end, six down the other end on the front. Jobs are good in. <laughs> one of the um, one of the staffs walking past is like really cold, and I'm in shorts. They said, how are you wearing shorts, though? 
I've been getting that a lot today. Well, how are you still in shorts? But if we work hard enough, and quick enough, it ain't that bad. Plus, you know, it's not like I stay out in it all the time. It's like now I'm loaded, for example. Get my paperwork and I'm gonna jump inside the truck. So it's only temporary, isn't it? If I was out in this weather all day, I probably would wear something a bit warmer. Anyway, let me show you the load. Okay, fully loaded with timber. Uh, and I can quite visually see that the top of the trailer is beneath the top of the cab. So I don't need to measure it. I know I can get under 4.2 meter bridges. Plus there's no bridges above that anyway on the way. So anyway, let's go grab our paperwork. Right, we've got our paperwork. So uh, I shot back in the truck and I'm not gonna film leaving. You feel, I've, I've left here loads of times, you know what it's like. Um, I'll probably see you in Wrexham. Got about a four hour drive, we'll stop on the way up somewhere to have a break. I'll see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are in Wrexham Industrial Area. Oh, we've got some roadworks over this crest of a hill. Um, yeah, we're about a mile and a half away, just around the corner now. We, um, yeah, we got here quite quick. There wasn't too much traffic, to be fair. So, yeah, had our break, got here. We'll um, we get loaded, hopefully quite quickly, tipped and reloaded. I mean, and then get back down to Bridge End, and yeah. I still think it'd be around seven o'clock, but we we get there when we get there. We're not going to rush to get there um, because even if we get there like I don't know, nine o'clock, we still have eleven hours off pretty much and get to the delivery in the morning. We shall see. Road ahead closed on the left. No problem. No problem. It's definitely closed. Wow. Hydro, and then any work out of there for a while, get, get uh, the aluminium ingots, not ingots, logs, big old long logs. I haven't done any of that work for a while. Okay, we want to take a right hand turn. We've got one car on the left, two cars now. It's clear on the right, still clear on the right. Car on the left is coming down here. All clear, all clear. Let's go. Um, normally when I deliver here, it's the first thing in the morning, or I come here late at night and then um, do a night out and then deliver in the morning. I very rarely deliver in the afternoon, so it's new to me delivering at this time. Right, when we come back out of here, we'll be turning left, although we'll be turning right because we're coming from the other direction, but we'll be going down there on the way out of here. Uh, we don't need to fill up with fuel, we've got three quarters of a tank, so... We'll go down a bridge end with that and fill up tomorrow. And then, if, yeah, yeah, and then if we fill up tomorrow, it should last for the rest of the week as well then. Okie dokie. Here we go. The sun's decided to make an appearance as well, look. Right, I have actually been told to go and wait here so we shall wait in this bay instead even though it is free in front we'll wait here we'll take the straps off here and um, then we'll go on in once uh, well once we're told to go in really normally I just go straight into the empty space but not today right I'm gonna take the straps off I'll see you in a bit right we are in position I'm just readjusting my seat we are in position we've actually been offloaded and pallets that we are taking down the bridge end are now being put on. So I'm going to jump out the cab and I'm going to start strapping up. Yeah. Right. We are loaded. I haven't had a chance to show you <laughs> the load because we've just had to get loaded so, we got loaded so quickly, I had two of them. Two forklift drivers offloading, two forklift drivers reloading as well. Uh, the same two, I should say. It wasn't a four altogether, it was just two. And, and, um, yeah, strapping up and another lorry's turned up and I'm in its way so as soon as I've strapped up I've had to go so I've had no chance to film 
<coughs> so that's that's understandable. Job comes first. I would never hold anyone up just to get some footage. So um, yeah, there's not a lot more we can do. I mean, I'm not even taking my high vis yet off yet or put my hard hat away. So I'm just going to pull over here and do that. <coughs> I'm still recovering from my cough. Right. Let's put the old R that away. Lovely. Paperwork. So that's what I've already delivered. Along with all of this. Right, that's the paperwork. I can go in there. That's what we're delivering tomorrow, so that can go on top. High vis off. <sighs> Lovely. So, um, yeah. While it's daylight and it's not needed, I better put my torch on charge ready for the morning. It hasn't needed to be charged up at all, but it's just. Even if I just put an hour's charge in, it should give me power for uh, for the morning. So yeah, man. Um, so it's a just over four hour drive down to Bridge End, to where we're going to park up for the night. Um, we did have a we had a break on the way up, so we will need to um, drive for a couple of hours. I think it's three hours we can do, and then we need to have another break and then carry on down. So uh, that is what we're going to do. We'll probably get a break somewhere on the services on the M6. If not, then somewhere past Monmouth, potentially. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll get a break in somewhere, that's for sure. But I'll probably just see you when we actually get to Bridge End. Um, and then we'll go from there. So, let's get around this corner. At least then you can see the load a little bit out the window. Clear left, clear right. And this is what we've got. Full load of pallets on. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Right, I shall see you when we get to Bre uh, Greenbridge. Not Greenbridge, Bridge End. <laughs> Greenbridge is in Swindon. See you when we get to Bridge End. See you in a bit. Okay, you joined me quite a bit later on now in the evening. Uh, we've been driving for about four hours, give or take, with a, a break in between. Um, and we're just around the corner now from where we plan on parking up in Bridge End. Now, actually, rather ironically, a couple of videos back from this video, I think, we've parked up in the same place. Um, but we were going different places in the morning. I had to go quite further down in Wales last time, whereas tomorrow morning we're going back that way, 15 minutes, uh, to Rockwool, which is where we're delivering to. Uh, but yeah, no, last time we come here, uh, where I planned on parking, there was no space, um, so we had to find somewhere else. So um, we'd probably do the same today. We'll go to the first place, see if there's any space there or not. And then um, if not, we'll go, we'll go and have a look round and last time I parked outside the police station so you can't get much safer than parking directly out of police headquarters <laughs> can you um, but we do have an issue uh, we need we need to work we need to worry about total driving time currently right now we're on eight hours and 50 minutes for the day which means we've only got 10 minutes left of driving time we've got to park up within 10 minutes I can go into a 10 potentially but I think I need a 10 hour shift for tomorrow I've got a busy day tomorrow and it's always best to leave one for Friday as well, just in case. So I don't want to be going into a 10 hour shift today, um, sorry, 10 hour drive. So I need to be parked up within the next 10 minutes. Now, the parking where I got it saved on the sat nav is literally just around the corners in three minutes time. So um, fingers crossed, it's free. And if it isn't free, we should just about be okay, hopefully to park up under the 10 hour um, drive in. But have to wait and see on that one. Okie dokie, green lights. I think it's behind the Peugeot garage or something. Is um, I parked there a couple of times and it's been quite quiet, so that's where I, uh, I like to park. But the last time I come here, uh, there, it was already filled up with a couple of trucks. Just watching them. Yeah, it was already filled up with a couple of trucks and um, the road outside it was also pretty busy as well. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we had to go and go and look for uh, somewhere else to park, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll be okay. It was also a lot later last time as well. It was like gone seven o'clock, whereas now 
well, it's not too far off to be fair, it's quarter past six. <laughs> so let's see. All right, we want to turn right here. But um, as I mentioned in the last video, you've got to stay in this lane on the left because the trailer kicks and kicks in, sorry, as you turn around. Because the road keeps bending right and the trailer kicks in. Don't know if you can quite see. There we go. Let me turn left here. <coughs> Lovely. And then, yeah, so trucks used to park up on this road, but there seems to be a lot of cars parked up. But we nip down here and see if there's any space. If there is no space, then not to worry, we'll crack on. Uh, there's a couple of trucks here, but on the left side. No, I think we're good. So we're going to park up here on the right-hand side. There's enough room for trucks to get round us. Um, they can sort of drive in the middle here, pretty much. So, yeah. There's plenty of room. We're, we're parked right up here, look, on the right-hand side. Plenty of space. Lovely jubbly. About there, we should do it. So, we have parked up on eight hours and 53 minutes of driving. So that's uh, pretty much a four, a four days drive. Um, and then we're only 12 minutes away for the delivery tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure that um, we don't have to get there till seven o'clock. So we'll get up at half past six, do some checks, and then we'll, uh, we'll crack on to the delivery point. But that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I am going to... I've got some lasagna, microwavable lasagna. I've not actually used the microwave in here yet, so I'm going to cook that and then um, go to sleep, pretty much, because I'm tired. So I will see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Okay, morning, everyone. It's the next day. And, uh, well, for starters, we are in trousers today, but that's not by choice. Uh, I have to be in trousers for later on. So there she is. Um, we've just pulled up, went to source security. We've uh, got to go forward now and start unstrapping, so... That is what we're going to do. We're going to jump back in the truck and get these straps off. I'll tell you what, it's definitely a bit colder today. I mean, actually, it's two degrees. It was one degree yesterday, so it's not actually technically colder, but it's a bit more windier, and that makes the difference. Um, yeah. <laughs> so maybe I wouldn't be wearing shorts today anyway, but I, I have to wear trousers because where I'm going later, have to be wearing um well you have to be covered basically so i uh, can't wear shorts today oh yes that is not as cold as it was yesterday but that wind makes the difference my face feels numb already I've only really, really just started doing these straps up. <laughs> uh, winter is well and truly coming, I must admit. And um, I may not be wearing shorts <laughs> from this day forward if it's like this. It's not even that bad right now. Like, it's not mega windy. If it was raining, yeah, you definitely wouldn't be wearing shorts, would you? But it's just a bit of a gust every now and then, which just makes it feel a little bit colder than it actually is. Yes. Right, well, the straps are undone. I turned up at quarter seven, and um, to be fair, the security guard did say there's no one here yet to offload me. I was like, okay, cool, no worries. It's 20 past seven now, and I'm still waiting, so. Yeah, we're gonna go jump in the truck, try and keep warm. <laughs> it's a lot colder today, man, it really is. And there she is. Hopefully someone will come over soon, unload us, and we can crack on. I was hoping it'd be him, but he's just driven straight past. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in the truck. Try and warm up a bit. Right, we are now being offloaded. I need to turn on my heaters on that mirror by the looks of it. Yes, we are being offloaded. He is taking it off, so that's all good. We do one side. Once we've done one side, we then move over to that side, so then he can then tip that side, if that makes sense. So yeah, man, we're getting tipped. Happy days. So, that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to turn the light on. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm still a little bit blocked up. I'm hoping I will feel a little bit better over the weekend. That would be nice. 
But um, yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a good couple of days, and I got a very busy couple of days planned. It's only Wednesday today at the time of recording this, and um, hang on, is it Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. It's Thursday today, and I got a very busy day today. I think I'm going to use a ten hour drive and possibly a ten hour drive tomorrow as well, Friday. So if you want to know what happens, watch the next video because I'm going to be recording about it. So. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Don't forget to go and like, comment, and subscribe on my second channel. It's called More Luke C, uh, where I just upload more. Sort of. It's not really behind the scenes. I mean, it's nothing HTV related. It's just what I go up to outside of HTV world. So things that I get in my office and what I use and blah 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 blah. Might even play some games on it. Who knows? So go and check it out. If you don't want to watch it, don't have to watch it. But it'd be nice if you check it out anyway. More Luke C. Link is in the description down below. And uh, before you go, don't, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe on, on this channel. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Big thank you to all my channel members. We're about to see all the names pop up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.